Hello, today I'm going to give you some insights into my experience with the Elgato Stream Deck and how it can be now applied to people in music production and MIDI music. Um, I'm a music producer. I uh, use a lot of virtual instruments to produce music in either Cubase or in uh, Logic Pro X. And uh, part of the, the problem and part of the solution of uh, making orchestral mock-ups and instruments sound good is the ability to switch between playing articulations. By this I mean, for instance, a string might be able to pluck or bow or bounce its bow on its strings and that'll make a different sound and you need to be able to switch between these while playing live to give it a true feeling of, of a live performance. An example is on the screen. I've got Native Instruments Contact loaded, and here are some brass instruments from the Spitfire Audio Albion 1 library. So we've got some short brass. And if I use my mouse to click on the long articulation, we get some brass playing long notes. And by switching between short and long, you can get a nice expressive and realistic brass performance. But you've got to be able to do this in real time. A lot of these instruments have their key switches, as they're called, right down the bottom of a keyboard. And I don't mean the bottom of an 88-note keyboard. I mean the very, very bottom. MIDI note number zero. That's C minus one, so far down the bottom of a keyboard, well beyond most 88-note keyboards. I'm on an 88-note keyboard here. I'd have to go down three octaves to hit that bottom note. So that makes playing and switching these articulations using a standard keyboard quite complicated. So a lot of people go to a lot of trouble to fix this problem by buying MIDI controllers uh, with extra keyboard octaves or simply pressing buttons on a MIDI controller. And I've gone through various uh, versions of Behringer and Roland and Korg systems to try and give me those buttons to press. Then Elgato came along with their Stream Deck and some bright spark programmed it to transmit MIDI information. For those of you who don't know the Stream Deck, it's mainly designed for streamers, gamers and uh, YouTubers in order to switch between various scenes, scenarios, run logos, press like on Twitter and things like that. But with this MIDI functionality, the Stream Deck now becomes an extension of your MIDI keyboard and allows you to send MIDI note on and off and even control information at the same time as your MIDI controller into your virtual instrument. So while staying in my Native Instruments Contact Brass instrument and now turning on my Stream Deck and loading up a simple articulation switcher starting at MIDI note C-1, I can switch between these four available articulations at a press of a Stream Deck button. So here are my shorts, my longs, and not a lot of shorts, and some more longs. And I can just play notes. And off I go. So this new functionality of the Stream Deck opens this instrument up to all sorts of fiddling and playing. And for a start, I just programmed in C-1 to C-0 because that's where most instruments use their articulations. And with this simple setup, the Stream Deck now can become a universal articulation switcher for any virtual instrument that uses MIDI note on messages for its articulations. But that's not all you can do. Of course, the Stream Deck is fully programmable and all the nice little flashy icons you like to use in your world can be used on the Stream Deck rather than just a boring orange button with a letter on it. So let's move into that and have a look and see what we can do with a bit of programming. Now we've loaded up Vienna Ensemble Pro and in this I've loaded one instance of the BBC Symphony Orchestra from Spitfire Audio. This is the Pro edition and I've loaded the Horns 4 into the browser which means I have access now to four horn players. Spitfire include quite a lot of articulations with this library and you can see here we've got some legato all the way down multi-tongue and staccatissimo and staccato and on the second page we've got trills. These are all accessible through MIDI, and you can access all these from, surprisingly enough, C-1 upwards. So if I go to my articulation switcher on the Elgato Stream Deck, 
I can switch between the articulations simply by pressing my pre-programmed articulation buttons. But as I said, that's a bit boring. They're not very exciting buttons. So let's go back up one menu on the Elgato Stream Deck and you'll see what you can program in. What I've got here is a complete articulation switching setup for virtually all of the instruments I use on a regular basis. I've got access to all of the BBC Symphony Orchestra libraries. I've got access to my bass, guitar, brass, horns, etc. So let's just go into the BBC Symphony Orchestra brass section, this third button on the top. And this now gives us access to all the same articulations and the same icons that we're used to seeing within the Spitfire Audio apps on the screen. So I can very easily just play a little tune. And switch between the different articulations. Simply by pressing the button that corresponds to the articulation I want on the screen, I'm switching to the articulation on the interface. So marcato, flutter tongue. And then the beauty of this is you click on one of the trills and it takes you to the second page and automatically shows you the trills as well. So back to legato. So that's one thing you can do with the Stream Deck. You can program these buttons in and add all the articulations. What's convenient with the Spitfire Audio BBC Symphony Orchestra is all the brass instruments have the same articulations. So one button corresponding to brass works for all the brass. And the same goes for woodwind and the string section. What's also quite good is because this system also sends MIDI CC data, in other words, control things like mod wheel, volume control, foot pedals, etc. via MIDI, you can also program it to do other little functions. And you'll see on the bottom row here, I've got my various volume functions for expression. Press PP and the volume control goes down to 30, MP, MF and FF. So if you want to do some really quick little volume changes or expression changes without having to reach for your slider and do all of this kind of stuff, you can very quickly program them in. The beautiful thing as well, of course, is it records this via MIDI. So when you're using your sequencing program, all of these key switches and controls are recorded alongside your performance. So just as a quick preview again, if I now switch from horns, to my string section and load violins one. I can then switch to my violin articulation manager and now I've got all of the articulations that are available on the violin and I can switch between them on my screen while seeing not only the same logo but also the same base color. So strings are green, brass is red, woodwinds blue, etc. So this is a really very cool, frankly, way of getting the articulation manager from all these popular VST instruments and plugins onto what is an incredibly useful programmable touchscreen interface, which is the Stream Deck.